This is a different video from the benchmark videos that I usually make. I've generally avoided testing emulation on this channel. Well until now, as this guy right here, who is one of my first followers by the way, requested me to test the 2005 God of War game using the PCSX2 emulator. So I promised him that I will try out PCSX2 one day when I can. And just two days after he made the request, when I made the scrap mechanic video because of that impatient Russian kid mine log for you, the person who requested me to test PCSX2 also became impatient. You can tell that I was kinda annoyed by his impatience, as I literally had to write this monstrosity of a comment asking for a bit of patience. Turns out that Dark Flick, one of my first followers, is also an impatient Russian kid. Got those impatient people man. Whatever, let's find out if the Intel Celeron N2840 can handle some PS2 emulation. I mean I've already tested a few games from that era on this laptop, so this should also be good, right? First, there's the question on which version of PCSX2 will I be using for this video. Well, after a bit of off-camera testing, I found out that version 1.0.0 from 2012 works the best on the Intel Celeron N2840. Trust me, I tried the most recent stable release version 1.6.0, which runs really poorly, and also even older versions than 1.0.0. However these have issues from various sorts, likely due to them being beta releases of PCSX2. So there's that. Now, I think it's necessary to show you my emulation settings. Feel free to copy them if you want. using. I will provide the download link for it by the way, if you are interested, and I'm using the default plugin settings if you're wondering. I'm gonna play 5 games, which I chose, after taking into account some of the comments on my channel, and also based on the list of best PlayStation 2 games according to the The Top 10's website, so let's go. So, this is the original God of War game, the first game that we will be playing today. It's a PS2 exclusive, and it came out in 2005 as you may have heard. This is actually the game that the impatient Dark Flick boy requested to see. So, enjoy. Oh my god. There's some scary glitching going on with Kratos and some of the background textures too. Well, at least the graphical glitches are now gone, and so far, this isn't all that bad, I guess. But let's see what can we do against these, um, creatures, I don't know. Wow, we're actually doing it, you know what, I'm liking this experience still, sure it's slow motion, and therefore the audio sounds quite weird and stuff, but I think, if you also have a laptop with this Celeron, you're gonna be fine in the 2005 God of War with PCSX2, this experience sorta reminds me of the one that I had in Metal Gear Rising Revengeance a lot of videos ago, now, I know it's stupid to compare a 2005 PS2 game to a relatively modern 2013 one, but considering that both are hack and slash games, and given how Metal Gear Rising runs in comparison to God of War here in terms of user experience on the Celeron N2840 and Intel HD Betrayal, I think it's a fair comparison. Here we have a, I think this creature in particular is called Hydra. Let's give it a nice whipping. And fun fact, I have the European versions of the games from the list of games that we are testing today on the PCSX2, which actually run at 50fps by default instead of 60 as in the American versions. 
Also, if you're wondering why I'm using fraps to monitor the FPS instead of MSI Afterburner, it's because MSI Afterburner slash River Tuner refused to work with PCFX2. Oh yeah, that's what we are talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now on to the next game, which is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 from 2007. It also got a Wii release. This one was requested a really long time ago by one of my Latin American viewers. So as they say, I hope you're happy. So let's choose our game mode, and I'm just going to watch the AI fight itself. Because I really suck in fighting games. Let's choose our characters. Finally we need to choose a map. Um, guys, I think, the K10 Kanichi 3 runs worse than God of War sadly, yeah, God of War was running at the late 20s to 30 something FPS, yet Dragon Ball drops into the low 20s, if you have played this type of games, you'd probably know, that one of the thing that makes these fighting games fun for those who enjoy them, is how fast paced they are, so what you're seeing right now, is not exactly what most of you would want in Dragon Ball, although, if you, on the other hand, are one of those who don't mind the slow motion and want more time to react in critical situations. You know what, the Intel Celeron N2840 has your back, and I guess this also applies for God of War. Alright, now for the third game in the list, which is Final Fantasy X, the original one and not the remaster, it's a PS2 exclusive, and is older than both God of War and that Dragon Ball game that we just tested, it came out in 2001, the same year GTA 3 came out, so it's no surprise that it runs significantly better than what we've tried so far, even exceeding 50 FPS, and therefore running too fast in that one instance that you might have just noticed for example.
2,000 years later. After a load of cutscenes, we finally have a fight, so let's deal with them real quick. And yeah, I think the seller in N2840 is doing a decent job so far in emulating a game from freaking 2001, and it's not even hitting 50 FPS right now. Oh here we have a boss, that creature called, um, Demi, yes that's how it's called, Demi, let's punish it too. God are you kidding me, so apparently the N2840 can't handle those advanced 2001 effects on the screen. Oh we better be quick. Yeah, now that's some good work. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, I think I want to move on to the fourth game. Oh no, it's already dropping into the tents, so, because I think it's necessary to try out a racing game, this is Midnight Club 3 from 2005, although I'm using the remix version which came out a year later, it also came out on the PSP and the 2001 Xbox, and I don't have a good feeling for Midnight Club 3 guys, so we need to buy a car first, the FPS are a bit higher in the garage by the way, and I think I'm going with the Jetta. Well, in Midnight Club 3, you, um, you know what, let's actually think positively, because positive thinking is refreshing for the brain. Here, you once again have the advantage of having more time to react in crucial moments. Yeah in case you need more time to decide which turn should you take for example, or perhaps if you want to grasp into every single building during a race, then the Intel Celeron N2840 is your savior with PCFX2 in this game. The race is going swimming as you can tell, and, um, it stopped, although the audio is still sounding. I think it froze, and I don't believe it's gonna recover, so Midnight Club 3, well, you can sorta of play it for a bit on the N2840 before this happens, oh well. So this is the final game that we will be testing, I chose it because of its kinda funny name, and also because it was in the list of best PS2 games in the top 10's website, it came out in 2003, and it's another PS2 exclusive. Oh wow, I actually expected it to run better than this, although this game has quite decent graphics for its time, but I'm not sure if the eyes of the characters are supposed to look like this.
so this is after the intro cutscenes as I'm finally allowed to, you know, play, and as you can see, it's quite rough on this cellar and honestly, it even drops into the tens looking into certain directions for example, yeah, it's kinda bad, isn't it, but hey, at least here, in this canal, we get a decent frame rate. And we are back to 25 something FPS. Now let's see some action. Oh no he's trying to electrocute me. Ha ha ha. Take that, you bastard. I tried to push him down into the abyss, but instead he disintegrated into nothingness. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if the Intel Celeron N2840 can emulate the PS2 according to your opinion, cause I'm not interested in sharing mine. And, bye bye.